Hello, I'm Dr. John McDougall. You know, I'm a medical doctor and I deal with all kinds of medical issues. And one of the biggest concerns that people have today is cholesterol. I mean, not surprising, you turn on any television show and what are they advertising? Cholesterol lowering medications, right? Sure, cholesterol lowering medications are very popular is because people have high cholesterol. And as a matter of fact, the reason you know about elevated cholesterol is because of the invention of statins that took place a little over 20 years ago. Once they developed these powerful drugs that lower blood cholesterol, they had to develop a market. And so they educated the population about the importance of cholesterol. That's good. But the result is, is that people think the answer is just to take a statin. Eat your bacon and eggs, take a statin. Eat an extra pork chop, take an extra statin. That solves the problem. And you know, it might have been a good idea, except it didn't work. As a matter of fact, in June 28th of 2010, there was a review published in the uh, Archives of Internal Medicine where they looked at the 11 randomized controlled trials of taking statins and lowering cholesterol and looking at it to, as to whether or not it reduced the risk of death and heart disease. 11 randomized, that's all the studies, 11 randomized controlled trials on statins. And the conclusion was, it does not reduce the risk of death and heart disease in otherwise healthy people who have elevated cholesterols. Now, where statins may work a little bit is in really, really sick people. I mean, you get somebody who's very sick. Man, you define that, say, by somebody who's had a heart attack or bypass surgery or angioplasty or a transient ischemic attack known as a TIA or a stroke. These are people who are at very high risk of having another problem soon. And with statins, which have a little tiny benefit, in very high risk people, you can see that little tiny benefit. But you take the average person who has a cholesterol of 200, 250, 280, 180, and you give them statins because they're at relatively low risk, you see no benefit. But that's not what the advertisements appear to tell you. They appear to tell you that all you have to do is take my pill and you'll be immune from these serious tragedies like strokes and heart attacks. Now, that's not going to solve the problem. It just lowers blood cholesterol. It doesn't make the tissues and the arteries healthier. As a result, you continue to progress with your artery disease and you continue to have the problems. But you know there's a way to solve this. And that's to make the tissues and the arteries healthy. And how do you do that? You fix the cause. And the cause of these rotten arteries, strokes and heart attacks, it's very clear. It's the animal foods. It's the, the chicken and the beef and the cheese and the pork chops. Get those out of your diet. Substitute them for healthy whole foods like potatoes, rice, corn. And the consequence will be your cholesterol will come down, and that's neat. The important thing is your body gets healthier and you reduce your risk of heart attacks and strokes. I'm Dr. John McDougall. Thank you for listening.